you know, we spent quite a bit of time asking the question, like, why is there such a disconnect between the reality and the perception of the reality when you look at Cardano as a whole? And, you know, things like DeFi Llama, it only registers 50,000 MAUs with Cardano, even though there's 1.3 million people participating in staking. So you have a lot of monthly active users who are doing things on the network like transacting or staking, but there's not as big of a DeFi uh, prominence there. We could count our staking uh, uh, as TVL like they do in Ethereum land. Uh, we'd have over $12 billion, $13 billion in TVL just from that. So th these are some of the relationship issues where the metrics are misreported. So a lot of VCs and other people, they just simply write Cardano off as it has been and they just assume it's dead. So when you go do an event like Token 2049, they see there's a vibrant, rich ecosystem and a lot going on. They realize that they've they've misjudged, and it's a window to re-engage people and talk to people again. Yeah, there's been so much confusion around a lot of like the 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 total value staked and and all of these metrics that a lot of these other tokens use, and it's always frustrated the hell out of me and everyone else in the Cardano community because you know technically. All the ADA that's that's staked to a, a node right now should be included in that metric. Like on Midnight, I, I think that's been the most transformational project in the history of Cardano. So every time Midnight makes a deal, it's actually also making a Cardano deal at the same time. In fact, they're averaging one every three days, which is an incredible pace, and and uh, we we really enjoy it. But you know, there's a lot to do. We put a lot of money at IO into Rare Evo. We've done it now for three years in a row, and. And every time we've gone to that, it, you know, it's great to see all the old friends, but it was just Cardano talking to Cardano. And we, we were having a really hard time making that multi-chain. We took over the event. We took over a 27,000 person event. Everybody saw Cardano. Everybody saw Midnight, our ecosystem. Uh, and there was a ton of hype and excitement. And the price tag for that was one third of what we paid for Rare Evo. So what oh, we're wow. going to do next year is, is we're going to, instead of doing Rare Evo at IO, we're going to do four events per year. We're going to do Bitcoin, the big Bitcoin conference they have every year. We're going to do Consensus. We're going to do Token 2049. And we're going to do Abu Dhabi Finance Week. Midnight Foundation, because they share the same DNA as Cardano, they can go and fix the DeFi Llama problem, these other things, and get these guys to actually accurately report and represent the chain. So good news, we have a treasury, an on-chain treasury, and we're starting to utilize that. And I think next year... We'll have a package for a lot of these integration budgets that Midnight is going to cover, but probably cover dollar matching or something like that. Somebody had to be the bigger man and bite the bullet. And, uh, and you know, once we have it done, it's easy to use our stuff. And then we can move users around, move liquidity around, and, you know, these types of things. But overall, I, I'd say we're not in a bad position. We're not in a good position. We're in a position of transition. And we, as an ecosystem, we have to come together. We have to be vigilant. And every quarter... We have to set aggressive KPIs. And also, how do we take 5, 10, 15 dApps and double them on Cardano? Let's, let's feel some accountability responsibility for that. Like us getting listed means the exchanges support CNAs now. So that massively helps things out because nobody bothered to build that ecosystem up for four years. Everything is yeah. institutional driven now, which, you know, for years... It seemed like every time, uh, you know, Cardano said, well, we're going to launch this big thing and that big thing and that big thing. It always comes, but it generally comes at the peak of a market cycle, right? <laughs> and and so, but it's it's really the polar opposite of that in, in that you're building something that is going to help propel Cardano and all of its infrastructure into the stratosphere, in my opinion.